It used to be you could relax in a place like this. Now it's just another place to stay connected, if you can. Let's face it. These days, companies are spread out all over the place. Team members are just as likely to be across the hall as they are across the continent. And that's cool. But between you and me, it can be a real pain getting anything done on time. I mean, sure, everybody's got email, and that's fine for memos. But attachments? Huh. Well, you know how that goes. You can make it work eventually. But man, you gotta negotiate first. It's like, what platform are you guys on? Are you using Word 6 or Office 97? And even if you get that down, the printouts are never the same. Now, come on. What's your confidence level in all that? Right. But there is hope. In fact, there's a perfect solution. And it's time everybody knew about it. I remember the first time I received a PDF file from the agency. I was late for the printers. And I still needed to approve the final tweaks on a four-color product brochure. I was over budget, and I was freaking out about the rush charges. So I tell the agency to fax it. I know. What was I thinking? Well, before I could think of any more bad ideas, they emailed all the proofs to me as PDF files. Everything looked fabulous. Illustrations, colors, fancy fonts, the works. Man, was I impressed. And with this latest version, I can do even more. Like today, I've got to get feedback on all this stuff for my new launch plan. I've got artwork, final copy, budgets, and schedules. You know the deal. It used to take me forever to email a package like this, because everything's created in different applications. And you have to send separate files, and then nobody can open them. Now, it doesn't matter. I just grab all the stuff I want to send, drag it into Acrobat, and it turns everything automatically into a PDF. I can use stickies, circle stuff, write margin notes, or strike a whole graph with one big slash. I love that part. And this is really cool. I can pull in pages straight from the web. Same deal as before. Acrobat converts the pages to PDF, and then I can make notes on them, highlight things, whatever. And the links even work. I don't know how they do that. Anyway, when I'm finished, I just send the whole thing out as one PDF, instead of needing to attach a bunch of text and image files separately. It works with Notes, or Outlook, or whatever email client they're using. Everybody can open them, and everybody sees exactly the same thing. Pretty cool. It's all about taking the hassles out of working electronically. No more worries about who's got what application. No more formatting screw-ups. You get the picture so far. But what if you don't really care about sending around web pages or Marcom stuff? What if you're, say, a numbers person? I used to send all my budgets and forecasts out in Excel. People would change my numbers, insert rows, or even, heaven forbid, correct my formulas. It was really bad news. And half the time, I'd end up staying here all night just to get everything to agree again. Well, those days are over. With Acrobat, I turn all my spreadsheets into PDF files and just email them out to my group. No one ever has a problem opening them up or printing them out. They can still make comments, correct numbers, write in the margins. I don't care. Nothing affects the original numbers on the spreadsheet. I tell you, I'm in heaven. All right, so far so good. But for a solution to be really effective, it has to work in all kinds of environments and all kinds of businesses. What do you say we give Acrobat the old legal test? I used to think PDF was something they just used for the web. Well, in my world, I've got paper, I've got contracts, I've got acquisitions. Look at all of this. Why did I need Acrobat? OK, OK, so I was wrong. Not only is it easier to sort through a lot of changes, but I can keep track of who said what and when they said it. And in this business, that's a big deal. The original documents stay intact, and the changes are always easy to spot. It used to be small changes could get by me because it was tough to compare it to the original. But for me, this is the real lifesaver. I can send documents out by email and receive an electronic signature back the very same day. Like last week, the CFO is at the office in London, and I have to fund a loan. So I email the papers out to him. He signs them electronically, shoots them back to me. I'm over at the bank, and boom, it's a done deal. So the financial manager keeps her numbers straight and our lawyer gets his loan signed on time. Hey, 
This is big stuff, especially if you're a newcomer to Acrobat. But what does Acrobat 4 offer the experienced user? Say, a graphics pro. Everything I send out and everything I get in from my printers is in PDF. No one ever has any problems opening things up or printing things out. It's pretty much the standard way to move things around nowadays in the graphic world. Anyway, for me, the biggest thing about Acrobat is how I deal with my printers. Now, I email everything directly to them as PDF files. No more midnight calls about missing fonts. I get a contract proof the next day, I okay it, and we're on the press. Used to be, I'd send out a plan like this and I'd get back scribbled faxes, random phone mail, or email. Some people would even type their comments directly into the document and mess up all the page breaks. Sometimes I wouldn't even send it to the international offices because it took forever for the guys to get back to me. But that was then. Doing it this way, I've already got all the feedback from the team. And look at this. Here's a comment from my boss. He's in Hong Kong today, I think. Yes! For me, it's not just about the convenience anymore. It's about staying ahead of the competition. Adobe Acrobat 4, the solution that can save everything in a single PDF file. Word documents, spreadsheets, illustrations, even web pages. It's how you turn a bunch of folks spread out all over the place into a real team. It's how you stay ahead of the competition and still go home at night. Check it out. The last time I flew to New York, I had to review some changes we were making to our website. No time to do it at the office, so I think I'll look it over on the plane, right? Wrong. I end up with a stack of papers this high. I'm trying to sort everything out on one of those little fold-out tables. Flight attendants must have thought I was nuts. When I got back to the office, my assistant, Michelle, says, why didn't you just use the web capture feature on Acrobat 4? You can capture all the web pages you want, even whole sites. Save them on your hard drive, and then review everything later offline. I didn't know Acrobat could do that. So for this trip, Michelle pulled the sections together that I needed to review from our site, a few samples from our competition site, some business news, even some industry data that I was looking for. She could drag a single page into Acrobat or type in a URL and set how deep to follow the links. It was really amazing. Acrobat converts the HTML to one compact PDF file so that everything looks exactly like it does on the web. And check this out. Even the links work so I can navigate around as if I were online. And because it's PDF, everything will print out perfectly. No weird page breaks or stuff like that. And look, I've already used Acrobat to make a few comments. I can use electronic stickies, make notes directly on the pages, circle things, even use digital stamps. No more piles of paper to sort through. No more hours at the copy machine. It's all right in here. Here's the competitor sites that Michelle pulled. I'll go through these on the plane. And here's the newswire she pulled. I've been trying to catch up on this stuff for weeks. Michelle says that when I get back online, I can refresh the pages, and Acrobat will show me everything that's changed. Talk about making life easy. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have enough room on my little fold-out table to eat lunch this time. <laughs>